So the weather is not great. Mm -mm. Um, we're waiting it out all day today and tomorrow isn't supposed to be any better. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Wait out the rain because we live out of our car. What else are we gonna do? What do you do when you van life to one of the most gorgeous and lush countries in Europe, but it rains for days on end? You visit one of the most interesting castles and you explore the hidden caves beneath it. And only 20 minutes south, you can take an underground train to the largest and most expansive cave systems in all of Europe. We made it to Slovenia! <laughs> yep, we made it to Slovenia. Uh, beautiful drive on the way in. Uh, super crazy rainy though. Yep, so we're stuck in the car right now. Not sure for how many hours we are going to be here, but this weather doesn't look like we want to go out there yet. We're in Slovenia for about 24 hours now, and almost the entire time it's been raining. <laughs> Boring rain. <laughs> We're in Triglav National Park, which is the only national park in Slovenia. And although the weather is pretty bad, it is still very gorgeous. Another parking lot, another night. Um, but yeah, we're at our campsite, hoping it doesn't rain too much anymore. The skies are cleared up a little bit. Um, we'll see what happens. Clearly a camper spot. It's not bad. This is us. Tiny little van. Messy inside as always. How come you always film me when I'm doing the dishes? Or act like you're busy. <laughs> I don't know. She is busy. She doesn't need to act like it. Our start to Slovenia hasn't been great, but we know this country has so much to offer. We just need the rain to calm down a bit. Or do we? We are in Triglav National Park, Slovenia's only national park, and super excited to be here as we've longed for this moment for a while. Next morning, in front of Slovenia's highest waterfall. Uh, it's not raining yet, hoping for a good day, so we <laughs> see some nice things and not get too wet, but this is a good start. Slap Boka. Slap Boka. <laughs> Triglav is home to dozens of waterfalls, but none are as tall as this 106 meter waterfall. And even though it's raining, we are here to see what this amazing land can offer. Hiking trails are as numerous as waterfalls here in Triglav, which is exactly where this trail will bring us. Completely soaked, we make it to the viewpoint on a very old bridge, the Little Koziak Waterfall little brother to the larger one we didn't feel like paying for. We're already day three in Slovenia. It's been raining for three days. <laughs> Today it doesn't look like it's gonna rain too much. Uh, some cloudy skies. Fingers crossed though. Moving further south into Triglav, another hike and another waterfall. Wow, floods really did a number here. <laughs> Imagine what this would have looked like. Just a huge amount of water streaming down. Planning this trip, we weren't sure where we were going to go as abnormal weather has been affecting all of Europe all summer. But we are happy to have made it. Another beautiful spot in the ever lovely Triglav National Park. It's finally a bit dry, so we thought it was time to be a bit brave and venture a little further away from the van by traveling in a different van. In the summer, you are not allowed to drive this road yourself. You need a guide. But because of how narrow it is, I know Lindsay is comfortable giving up driving for this option. It is a 30 minute drive along this extremely narrow and winding mountain road to bring us to one of the most important places in Slovenian history. Javorka, the Memorial Church of the Holy Spirit. 
This church, built by and celebrated for the Austro-Hungarian soldiers of the First World War. Oh wow! Oh wow! You can see closing mechanisms. Wow! And how many names? Two thousand five hundred and sixty-five. Wow! This is one year near here. Only Austro-Hungarians. Yeah. Built with ammo boxes and whatever else they could salvage, the soldiers built this church in the middle of the Great War, so they had something to believe in. With the colors of blue for peace and the angels meant to represent multiple denominations, this was a place for all religions during the war to be able to come together and give hope. And of course, in proper fashion, the rain started again and we decided to come down off the valley. It's been raining on and off for three days straight now. Mostly on though. <laughs> We are thinking we want to spend some time doing inside activities. So we're heading to Prajama Castle and to Postonia Caves. Which is actually way more south than we were planning to go. And it is a very touristy place. So we are not sure what to expect. Yeah. We started our trip here in Triglav in the city of Bovec. And from there we are heading through the national park south. To get out of the rain, we are choosing to do something that we don't normally do, heading to some tourist hotspots. The drives through Slovenia's only national park are sublime, as the most green mountains we've seen on our trip so far protrude high into the sky all around us. You ready to go inside and escape the rain? Yes, <laughs> let's go check out this awesome castle. Let's go check out this castle. It's very unique. <laughs> Today we are visiting Pajama Castle in central Slovenia, being real tourists. We get a little necklace. Okay. Up here. Thank you. It's making noise. Hello. It's. not feel such a tourist. It's really funny, it's like, uh, it's like regal, <laughs> sort of like a king, is talking to us like a king. But... With our new tour guide in hand, we start to explore this 800 year old castle and learn all about the rich history here. Full of everything a medieval castle could have, including places to drop hot oil, and even a torture room. Best not to stay too long here. You can spend hours walking around Pajama Castle, listening to the tour guide from all of the prompts along the wall. The most unique thing about this castle is its construction. Built into and under a mountain, its strategic location was most impressive, as access is difficult from anywhere else but the front door. Only used in spring to autumn, it was too cold here in the winter, and this was the only room in the entire castle with a fireplace. Full of twists and turns, we are blown away by this incredible sight. Wow, look at this. Nice. You gotta sing it. Oh my. Oh, that's loud. <laughs> that was louder than I expected. <laughs> Tiny little cannon. So what a castle. This area of Slovenia is home to some of the largest naturally forming caves and tunnels in all of Europe. Check this out, it's insane. Just keep going this castle. At the end of what we are allowed to walk, we gather ourselves for the dark below. What do you think? It is very cool. Never seen anything like this before. What an interesting castle. <laughs> Love it. Rainwater collection. Crazy. Thank you. 
so stylish. It's the in hat right now. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, okay. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah, look over here. Super stylish. Turn on your light. I mentioned earlier that this area of Slovenia is home to caves and tunnels. Well, we are going on a tour to some of the ones that are below this castle. A curious fact is that in the rainy season, this entire tunnel can become flooded, and we found it very difficult to imagine water rising this high. It appears to be at least 20 meters. We also learned that this used to be a horse stable when the castle was in use, as well as an escape tunnel when the castle was under siege. I can't believe that this is 20 kilometers long. 20 kilometers long! What? <laughs> crazy. Yep, this cave is 20 kilometers long. And what's crazier, it is nowhere near the largest. Uh, otherwise, uh, in some parts you will see shining like silver. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we have here uh, some types of bacteria. Mm. They live in water. Okay. and they eat the rock. Hmm. Uh, so uh, this cave is not so cold as I said and they can survive. Yeah? So they shine like silver. Really cool. so these are bacteria. Those are bacteria, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. There's bacteria here. <laughs> interesting. Right? Yeah, super interesting. Oof. How far does that go? Oh yeah, that's a drop. That goes down pretty far. Don't fall. What do you see? <laughs> I can't see anything. We spent an hour walking through only some of the closest explored tunnel sections. It would be a much longer tour if we wanted to see it all. Luckily, the tour is not an out and back, due to the placement of stairs and other helpful items. Home to numerous types of life, aside from the bacteria that turns the water silver, there are lots of insects here like cockroaches, and of course, tiny bats, who at this time are all sleeping. You right. That was good. Nice. Okay. There we go. End of a chapter. Let's go see other things. Yes, we need to go see another cave. <laughs> Not done for today yet. Okay. Uh, From Prajama Castle, we are taking the short 20 minute drive to the Postonia Cave. Ready for our third and final uh, wet day trip stuff for the day. Yes. Going underground again. Yes, last cave of the day, yeah. but it is going to be an epic one. Yeah, way bigger and way more touristy probably than the last one. Yeah, it's pretty touristy here. It's like going to an amusement park. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Hello. Oh, nothing. Here we go. English, please. Yes, number one. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. We got more women talking to us in our ears. Ta -da. Push number one. Push number one. Man. I almost feel like this is like a theme park for children. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. But open up the inner child. I'm opening it up. We're already here. We've already paid for it. We're yeah. gonna go on this train. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. For once, it is not leg day today. Yeah, finally, yeah. Uh, let's get on this thing. Have you ever taken a train to see a cave? What is the first thing you thought of when I mentioned a train? I know that we are surprised, but also unsure about what to expect. This cave train takes us approximately 3.5 kilometers into this massive 24 kilometer tunnel. From extremely tight passages to interesting ones with odd objects.
to larger and larger ones as the train moves us further into this natural marvel. Alright, so they let us off to walk around a little bit and there's a, what is it, hundreds of us on this little group? Yeah, it's a huge group. This is crazy and they cemented the whole floor. You can't see it really well, but it's all concrete. Like, look at this. It is crazy. It is really crazy. <laughs> what in the hell? I've never seen anything like this. Wow. Just huge. What? Okay, come on, let's go. While this cave section is over 24 kilometers long, we are only able to explore about 5 kilometers of it, which includes the cave train. This first section completely blows our mind with its vastness. We have never seen such a cave in our entire lives. Absolutely just cannot get over the scale of this massive, massive cave. <laughs> We've been walking for at least 10 minutes, 15 minutes. It doesn't end, it keeps going in every direction. Stalagmites, stalactites. Wow. Only discovered in the 17th century, it took a hundred years for the introduction of electrical light into the cave system. This here is the stalagmite known as Brilliant, the king and queen of Postonia Cave and the proud symbol of the area. Near the end, a large area, big enough to fit a cathedral in it, waits for us, in where you can see the baby dragons, but for obvious reasons, no photography allowed. That was amazing. <laughs> all in all, we spent around two hours walking in this massive cave system. Not usually into tourist attractions, but this one was absolutely worth it. Next time on Just Travelin', we're still in Slovenia and we're climbing high mountains. We go on epic drives and we visit possibly the most beautiful lake in the world.